Yeah. Hang on, but I'll be out in a minute. Man, they're working on some deer ribs. Ooh, let me shut my old torch off here. There you go. What you been in there with the torch? Yeah, I'm, that's a new way I figured out how to put a glaze on them deer ribs. It works good, too. Man, that thing makes them tender. Oh, that thing, that thing saved me a lot of time right there instead of putting them in that smoker. I got to, I figured that thing out the other day in there. Yeah, we're going to talk some more about my property and my cameras. I talked about my cameras the other day. I'm going to talk about my, my big hunt lease I got out here behind the house. I got an acre of land out there. And uh, I put, um, got me a good gardener in the middle there. My neighbors got it fenced off, but I talked to them about putting a gate in. I got a little walk-through gate where I can get the deer to come in and out. And I got one stand over here in the north corner and got one here about probably 17, 18 steps off the corner of the house here on the south end for the different winds. and Got all my cameras, I got all 24 cameras around the property, so I'm getting everything coming in and out. And it seems to be working real good. I'm getting really good results. And some fine deer coming in there to my garden. And uh, I think everything's going to be good this year. I got a good one there really coming in. He's really been posing good for the cameras. So. I think that's going to be my number one deer here. I, I cut out that window there for a reason too on that north end there in case them days it's really bad. I just use that gun out that screen out there and I can pop him. I ain't got to go out there in that weather out there. But uh, I think that's going to really work good. We'll get this thing, get this thing uh, figured up this year and see how it's going to go. I think it's going to do real well. What are you doing with that trap? Man, I bought that down at that old home store down there where I've been getting all my deals. I got that for $2.99 down there, 30% off on Friday. You always go down on Fridays, I get that I get that discount. I got me a good trap down there. I'm going to put that thing to some use there. I catch me a coon or two. I got old fella down there. We do some trading. He, he takes them coons and he usually brings me some peas or some okra up. And I do a little swapping from here from time to time. I do a lot of trading. I do a lot of trading on the side. I trade out deer meat or anything. And that's how I, that's how I do my wheeling and dealing. Well, let me give you a little something to wash this down. Let me get a little bit of my spring water here. Yeah, I went down there in my spring down there. And Oh, I had to swallow that bug. I couldn't get him out of there. He got hung up. So I went down and got me some spring water. And somebody threw away a good, perfect bottle down there. I've had it about two weeks. So I'm doing my part on recycling. Uh, you can take my old tin cans and stuff and hang them on the string down there at the garden and keep them old crows and stuff out and everything like that. And good Lord, Lonson. Is that your belly over there growling? Well, let me see. Well, we a little bit past supper time. I've had to go and feed him, feed me up, and uh, I'm gonna give you my tip of the week. And uh, I went down to the store down there to get some new batteries for my light, and I asked the old fella how much batteries were. He said a dollar ninety nine. I said you ain't got no trade-in batteries, and he said yeah, I got some back here on the shelf. And went back there and he brought them out. They were ninety nine cents. I said well give me two of them ninety nine cent ones, and I keep it in my big light right here. And I like a dim light. When I'm out there walking around in the yard, I don't really use a bright light. I use a dim light, and them 99 centers, they really work good. And, and uh, that's my tip of the week. And uh, y'all just work, keep doing it like I've been doing all my life with that ninth grade education. 42 years, you will end up with a nice piece of property to hunt on. And what I've got here today, and bought and paid for, and, and uh, Y'all just write to me and uh, we'll get we'll get something going like y'all got. If y'all need something like this, I'll show you how I did it, how I built this big old piece up, and I got a I got an empire here going right now, and, and I finally got it where I own it and everything. And uh, so I'm gonna get on in here and feed the old dog and feed me up, and uh, I'll catch y'all next time. I'll see you later. Now the tip of two.